earlier in this series we looked at select star which is this one and what select star does is it helps us select columns from all the columns from a particular table to get us that in the output there is an alternative similar statement which is called select all and as you can read here in the docs it allows us to fetch all the records including duplicate records from the table that we are referencing to so here in the notebook we have a table animals temporary table animals created with the familiar with statement and we have three records the first record has uh, values of cat and fish in the columns animal and food so we have two columns here as we can see uh, let's run this so we have two columns animal and food and in each column we have these values cat fish cat fish so there's a duplication in the first two records and then we have dog and bone in the last record so with select star we get this output now if we again uh, use select all we need to put a star because without the star uh, we will run into an error as you'll see now so we need to specify the column so here let's say if we put a star then we can get the output the output would have all the records that are in this particular table that we are using which is animal uh, that's what we have if we specify just one column such as uh, animal and then run this one we would get the duplicate values for cat also in the output and if we specify select all distinct animal then this is not going to work in this case because uh, this all contradicts with distinct where distinct is looking to fetch only the non-duplicate version of the records that are in the uh, from the table so here we use distinct we get unique values if we say all we get all the values in the output as we see here so that was it for select all in the next video we'll look at um, other statements in sql please like share and subscribe thank you